glory to the Lord Jesus, who's the owner of heaven and earth, who's the redeemer and savior of mankind, especially for those that believe and are born again. Listen, in this audio clip, I want to talk about, you know, dealing with reality. You see, I'll repeat, in this audio clip, I'll be talking about dealing with reality. Now, first things first, listen, I'm making this audio clip because I've noticed that many people are dealing with illusions. You see, and I've already explained in one of my previous videos what an illusion is. An illusion is a mental image that you fabricate in the mind in order to replace reality. Now, the thing is, you cannot replace reality because reality is there. You see, reality is absolute and exclusive. It's there. However, to deny reality, see, you can't deny rea reality, but you're still in reality. So in order to pretend as if reality doesn't exist, you must have the tendency to create those mental images and to hang on to them. Well, strong illusions are mental images that are based upon true facts. And that's why those illusions appear so real and it's difficult for people, people to let them go. But nevertheless, there are illusions and they ought to be, ought to be let go of, you know? You ought to repent of those illusions. Well, okay, I've repeat what an illusion is. And you see, why am I naming this thing dealing with reality? Because the truth is, many people, and this may, they, you may not agree with this, but hear me out. Many people choose a scary, negative, depressive, and toxic illusion above the truth that is revealed in the word of God which is the gospel. People, I'm talking about sinners now, and unfortunately some of the born again people still have this addiction. However, people in general enjoy being scared. They enjoy being afraid. Ever thought about that? People enjoy being afraid. Now you may say, Rashid, you're going too far now. Or this, may, this may be for you know, some sick individuals like those who do SM, uh, you know, SM is those sadomachism sex activities in which, you know, men go to men pay money to go to prostitutes and prostitutes beat them and abuse them and um, assault them during sex. There are men who enjoy being assaulted and abu physically abused by women. You see, you may say, OK, only those type of crazy men enjoy being afraid. Me? I'm not. I'm, I'm thinking at my, with my right mind. Listen, people in general enjoy being afraid. It's a common fact. People who make horror movies know this. That's why in horror movies, they will never, I mean, there are some exceptions to this, but in most horror movies, they will never show you the real danger in the beginning. They will always show you some scenes of people just living their lives and you will notice the danger coming unexpectedly you see and it's that hidden danger you know that people enjoy and now you may ask Rashid being afraid is something dangerous for your health for your mind it's to toxic you can even die by being afraid that also happens so so explain to me Rashid why do people enjoy being afraid you want to know why? Because of self-righteousness. I repeat, people enjoy being afraid because of self-righteousness. Okay, so how do you link this, the two together? First, for, let's go to the parable of the two men that went to the temple. You see, when Jesus was walking on earth, you know, before his crucifixion, you still had the, the Hebrew temple. In which there were sacrifices made according to rituals from the Old Testament. Well, Jesus told a parable of two men going to pray in the temple. One was, you know, a Pharisee or a scribe, I don't know. He was anyway a religious man, 
Remember, he wasn't a saved man. He was just religious, into religion. Okay, so one was a religious man. The other was just a common sinner. You know, someone whose, whose life was messed up. So the religious man goes to the temple, says, Lord God, I thank you. I'm not like one of these people who are so bad, so this and that, you know. And Jesus said that that religious man prayed unto himself. He wasn't talking to, to God. He was just, you know, making a performance before God towards himself. Okay. That's very important to notice. And the other guy who was uh, just a common sinner, someone whose life was messed up, said, Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. You see, it's easy to see the difference between the two. One claims to be, you know, you claim to have everything under control, and the other acknowledged his error and asked God for help. There's a difference they will often tell you in churches, you know. But I want to focus on something else in this parable. You can read it in the Gospels of Matthew, I believe. You know, is that the religious men acted out of fear. Because the religious men, who is also a self-righteous man or woman, because women can also be self-righteous, they hold on to an illusion of danger. In their illusion, they need to perform and prove themselves so they can, they can, they can feel good about themselves. So they can be, feel superior upon others so to be all right. That's their illusion. So if they enjoy being afraid because it makes them the center of their lives. See, fear is pride. Fear is not the same as pride, but fear is based in pride because Fear is basically saying that you can't trust God. Because once you realize that you can't trust God, who holds the whole universe in his hands, then you know nothing can harm me. Nothing can, you know, I don't say anything can happen to you, but everything will work out for your good because God is taking care of you. You can trust him. But once you don't trust God, now fear comes in. So fear always has to do with pride about you wanting to be the center you want to, want to become God yourself and that's the thing because people enjoy being self-centered to reject their responsibility towards God and others because they want to have self-centered you know agendas that's why people enjoy being afraid because the fear makes them feel important the fear is like a drug unto them that's why they hold on to illusions, to dark, negative and pessimistic illusions, just so that they are the center of their existence. You see, those people will acknowledge facts from reality. They will acknowledge facts that are true, but they won't obey the truth because the truth is not on their side. You see, because they are against the truth. They only want their illusions to be you know, gratified. So, I've named this audio clip Dealing with Reality. It's because that's the thing most people refuse to do. They will recognize facts that are true. You know, like when someone has an illness, when someone has cancer, or when there are some financial difficulty, or when racism is on the rise in a country. Those are all true facts. Or when you have parents who don't love their children, or we have people who only who are only friends when they need you. Those things are true facts, okay? But that doesn't mean that the whole reality, the whole universe is one big selfish place. No. But that's the thing. Negative people, or, well, let me say narcissistic and psychopathic people, they enjoy being afraid and they enjoy inducing fear in other people. Because it makes them feel powerful, you see? He, that's also a trick they use in horror movies. The, the main character, who's often a, a victim that's haunted by some ghost or some uh, vampire or some demon, that individual is being exalted to a heroin place due to the fear that individual has to endure. You see? Many people don't have this knowledge of fear. 
Fear is really a drug onto psychopathic and narcissistic people. They enjoy inducing fear in others because it makes them feel God. They don't want to deal with reality. And the people who also don't acknowledge reality but hold on to illusions, negative illusions, are easily trapped by psychopaths and um, sociopaths and the narcissist people. Why? Because, you know, two people who both have a negative illusion that they hold on to, they're a match for each other, you see? Because someone who, who knows the Lord Jesus Christ, someone who's born again, who's white as snow, whiter than snow, go to the blood of the lamp, such an, such an individual is not compatible with someone who's holding on to a, an illusion, to with someone who's holding on to negativity. That doesn't go together, you see? Often you have those females who feel attracted to a man, but they can't understand why they feel attracted to this man, even though they know that, that the guy isn't good for them, that the guy is, is treating people as trash. Now, besides black magic, you know, because f females can easily be the victim of black magic more than men. So, besides black magic, often there are women who are holding on to negative illusions. So, if you're a woman holding on to a negative illusion, then you will automatically be attracted to a man that is negative. And the other way around also, if you have a guy who, is a negative, who holds on to a negative illusion, you know, you will attract women who are negative. When you, help, when you hold on to a negative illusion, when you hold on to self-righteousness, you are making yourself a target for predators. Predators are narcissists, sociopaths and psychopaths. You see, that's the truth. But many people don't want to admit it. Many people only want to point fingers to others. They don't want to take responsibility for themselves. So, let me just, you know, finish this audio clip here because I believe I said all that's needed here. Look, it's a true fact that there are many selfish people out there. This is a true fact that many people aren't that intelligent. It's also true that many people don't know what to do. I have, that those, all those things are true. However, it's not the truth. The truth is that there are people on earth anointed and appointed by the Lord Jesus, by God himself, who do care about you. And God does place them in your life, but often you are too busy, you know, drowning yourself in self-pity and self-righteousness to notice them. I encourage you to open your eyes and to see the people the Lord Jesus has placed in your life to benefit you. Because often times the servants of the Most High God will not approach you personally because they know they will be attacked by you because you won't deal with reality you want to launder your illusions you attack everyone who comes against you that's why the lord will not place people directly in your life he will place them around you so to to restrict to restrict you and to you know how do i say it restrain you from from harming yourself okay begin to give the lord jesus thanks for such people in your life who are willingly to look after you even from a distance you know just deal with reality the reality not a reality deal with reality deal with the truth not with an illusion because hanging on to an illusion will make you a prey to predators so don't hold on to an illusion. Don't make yourself a prey to predators and later complain that you have all these negative people coming after you. Okay? Well, this is it for now. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you.